1775, Sycamore Shoals in East Tennessee, a land spectator, Richard Henderson, met with Cherokee leaders, convinced some of them to sell tribe land of 20 million acres, large part of Kentucky and Middle Tennessee. A deal called Henderson's Purchase, or the Transylvania Purchase. It was a good hunting ground for Cherokees. Dragon Canoe was a chief. He strongly disagreed to the sale, saying it would end the Cherokees. Dragon Canoe said the Henderson Purchase was illegal, and he said he and warriors would fight for the land. Part 423, Section Revolutions. So, after the Henderson Purchase, the treaty was signed. The Cherokee tried to stay neutral, but they couldn't. So, Dragon Canoe, the war chief, decided that this was a good opportunity to align with the British and also attack the Americans. So that forced him to move his people to the southwest Chickamauga. And now that's the southwest Chickamauga Creek. But that's now known as Chattanooga. But so he got forced there and then now his people are still there and he is they're known as the Chickamauga Cherokee now. Okay. Bye. So we see the Treaty of Sycamore Shoal signed between the Cherokee and the white settlers, um, of which Richard Henderson and William Bean were head. Uh, we see Richard Henderson decide to send James Robertson and Donaldson to uh, Middle Tennessee, the Cumberland uh, River region, which is now um, modern day Knoxville and Nashville. We see that uh, Dragon Canoe obviously opposes all of these um, advancements of white settlers into the Cherokee uh, land. The Cherokee Indians are very much for peace and selling their land to the white settlers, but then we see the white settlers turn around and sell the land to other white settlers. So that obviously did not sit well with Dragon Canoe. Uh, he sees the major threat in Middle Tennessee from Robertson and Donaldson, that they've moved their entire families and uh, basically have staked claim to that land. Dragon Canoe targets that and then he goes and uh, we see the Battle of the Bluffs. In the fall of 1780, native strikes against Middle Tennessee occupation became a regular occurrence. A year later, the strikes came to a head for the occupants of Fort Nashboro. Two Chickamaugans approached the fort, firing shots. James Robertson led 20 mounted men to meet them. Attack! The men rode right into Dragon Canoe's carefully planned ambush. 19 horses were kidnapped, or horse napped. The horses were taken, and tragically, five men were killed. Oh. <laughs> the dogs were turned loose and the remaining men made it back inside. The Chickamaugans proceeded to fight the American settlers for 14 years. Dragon Canoe had warriors stationed throughout Middle Tennessee and in neighboring states to protect the land from American settlement. Dragon Canoe unfortunately passed away in 1792 after his leadership dedicated to protecting his land and his people. The Cherokee Wars came to an end shortly after that, two years later, after John Watts took Dragon Canoe's leadership role. The Chickamaugan people had rest after the Treaty of Teleco Blockhouse was signed and it ended the attacks in 1794. Their peaceful lifestyle ended 44 years later when the United States enforced the Indian removal policy on the Cherokee people. After so many years of fighting, the Cherokees traveled through Nashville and over the Cumberland River out of their land.